the vitamin for your hair, skin, and nails. Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Let's get right into this video. Biotin, vitamin B7 or vitamin H. Biotin is a CO2 or carbon dioxide donor and it's very important for carboxylase, an enzyme. So this enzyme does what we call carboxylation. It's important for gluconeogenesis or production of sugar through your liver, metabolism of branch chain amino acids, the three primary are leucine, isoleucine, and valine, okay? It's also very important for fatty acid synthesis. So biotin of, plays a vital role in breaking down your fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. So your major macronutrients is very important that you have biotin so you can break down and produce ATP or energy of the body or the cell. So the fatty acid synthesis portion is very important for maintenance of the hair, skin, and nails that we talked about. So allowance, 30 micrograms is what most pregnant women and even adults need or require, right? If you're a lactating female, you want 35 micrograms. Now that's really on the low end because most supplements or most multivitamins will have 300 to 500 micrograms in a multivitamin. Symptoms of deficiency, okay? You can get thinning hair, scaly skin around the eyes, around the nose, and the corner of your mouth. That's usually where it occurs. You can get brittle nails, you can also get conjunctivitis, and in severe cases, you can get neurological symptoms, things like neuropathy or numbness tingling in the extremities. You can get fatigue, ataxia. Ataxia is a balance problem, okay? usually related to the cerebellum, and hypotonia, or kind of what we call weakened or loose muscle. Okay? So, Interestingly enough, ataxia or cerebellar ataxia is often associated with hypotonia, okay? Let's get into some of the other facts. Now, here are some causes for deficiency. You can do, it could be alcoholism, irritable bowel disease or inflammatory bowel disease where you have poor absorption or malabsorption issues, celiac disease, smoking, and obviously things like alcohol or alcoholism can also impact this. Sources of uh, biotin or B7 is beef, chicken, liver, egg yolk, salmon, avocados, nut seeds, and fortified grains. Okay, obviously there are other foods that have biotin in it. It's actually very difficult if you eat a really balanced diet to have deficiencies in biotin. <clears throat> Your gut microbiome also produces biotin. So again, it's difficult to be deficient, but there are certain conditions that can predispose you to, being defi uh, uh, to becoming deficient because your gut microbiome may not be producing the biotin and you're not absorbing the biotin that you're ingesting, okay? Interesting fact, uncooked white egg whites have a protein called avidin, and that interferes with B7 bioavailability. So if you have raw eggs, um, or you like drinking raw eggs, um, it can create a deficiency in biotin. The way to bypass it is really cooking it because it denatures avidin, okay? Interestingly enough, eggs, egg yolk has high amounts of biotin. So uh, just cooking your eggs would be the appropriate way to eat it. Genetically, there is something called a biotinase deficiency. So that needs to be more, you know, it's rare, so it needs to be checked by a geneticist. Um, so one can understand what's going on with them. High levels, like taking really high levels of biotin, may, in, on occasions, impact thyroid function testing. Sometimes it'll be false positive for Graves' disease, which is hyperthyroid. So you want to be aware of that. Also, certain medications or seizure medications can also deplete biotin. Testing. 
urinary excretion of biotin, and something called 3-hydroxyisovaleric acid. So it's a urinary test to see if you're actually deficient in biotin. Dosage. Again, most multivitamins have 300 to 500 micrograms, which is more than 10 times um, the recommended dosage in multivitamins. Now, there's no real uh, problems in taking hyper or uh, hyperphysiological doses of biotin, other than maybe this portion that I mentioned over here. So, most hair supplements, or what they claim to be hair supplements, will have 5,000 micrograms up to 10,000 micrograms in one pill, okay? So there is a company that actually produces a decent one, and some of my patients really swear by it. It's called Zymogen's Regen Max Plus, okay? I'll show it to you again. Zymogen Regen Max Plus. They have 5,000 micrograms in there in one capsule, and they have something called choline, like a specialized form of choline, 100 uh, milligrams, and silicon at 5 milligrams. So they combine this, and some of my patients had you know, really good results and really swear by that their hair is much fuller, thicker, nails getting stronger, et cetera. So if you have poor skin, hair, and nails, you might want to consider using biotin or vitamin B7. Okay, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.